if the colours used are Naples yellow, Alizare in crimson, ultramarine and burnt amber. First of all, wet the paper with clean water. Then brush in some Naples yellow, followed by Alizare in crimson, and then ultramarine blue. There's a winter scene to try and make it look a real cold looking scene. Dab out any that you don't want. And then dry with a hair dryer or let it dry properly. And I wet the paper again to put in some distant trees and bushes with clean water. And just dabbed in, stippled in a mix of ultramarine with alizade in crimson for the distant hedges and bushes. Very strong the paint, but I wanted to make it look an evening dull sort of picture and snowy. dried it with a hair dryer again and I put a bit of the foreground in just still the same mix a bit of ultramarine with a little bit of alizade in crimson brushed in the banks along the lane bit of burned umber and then that's what I call a little scrubbing brush if you wet it and just brush it back over and highlight some of the branches just take the paint off in places and then using burned umber to paint some of the tree in Take your time with that. Same on the other side. Could make a big, really tree, a big size tree there that stood stood out really strong on the left hand side on the right hand side and put a steeple of a church still the same mix of ultramarine and burned umber alizade in crimson dab it out if you painted it too strong let it dry a bit and then paint it again and the same with this church till you get it how you want it a bit of trial and error you keep brushing it over and dabbing it out and mixing the three colours together until you get it how you want it. So I wanted it to look a bit of an evening looking scene and very cold. Just stipple in some dead branches and leaves. Some burned umber with mixed with ultramarine. 
Just a dab here and there, don't overdo it. Then paint in a few people. Give it a bit of life. Basically the same colour, the ultramarine mixed with burned umber. Just make their shoulders a bit wider and as you go down make it narrower for their body and their legs. You can put the one leg longer than the other and make it look as though they're walking. Don't forget the heads. And the shadow. You join the shadows together, it always looks better. Also put a little dog in. And then some posts along the edge. Basically fiddling the boat with some burned amber, putting a bit of detail in. A telegraph pole further on. That's basically it. We put a mound around it then and looks a lot better with the mound. And thanks for looking.